what's up everybody it's your girl jacoby on the ones and twos and i know i've been missing for a week my bad but this is the month of finals and i'm just trying to get my life together so finals were a little bit more important than youtube even though i love y'all i just got other priorities so this week is going to be about my five month sister like anniversary um my anniversary will be on december 24th but i'll be traveling and that's christmas eve so there's no guarantee that i'm about to be pumping out a video for y'all <laughs> but i will take my camera home this week um when i go home home for two weeks so there will be some interesting videos that i'll be publishing um for y'all to see i'm gonna do some videos with my parents and my brothers if everybody cooperates this time around i didn't get to do those for thanksgiving but it's cool i'm not as salty as i was so yeah let's just get straight into it i'm gonna let y'all see my hair real quick let me put this chair back so okay so as you can see like it is thickening up really really nicely turn around in the back for y'all I just got out of the shower and I stretched it so it's looking like extra longer but don't let the shrinkage fool you. I got a little length but so far like the majority of the growth has been just getting thicker and fuller so I'm enjoying that. Now I'm just kind of waiting for my hair to get longer so I can come in the club shaking my dress throwing them bows and busting them heads. <laughs> you know so uh, <laughs> y'all know i ain't got nobody since so you just wait till you see my the rest of my family because they literally are worse than me but i'll let y'all debate on that so anyway i got my sister locks retightened on yesterday which was december 15th because i'll be going home so i wouldn't be able to be here next week or week after that she said that she only had to retighten like i'm sorry not retighten redo one in the back so you know i was pretty happy about that my little baby ones up here have been holding strong i don't know if that's because i haven't been washing my hair every week like i normally have but it's in the 20s here so that's dead anyway but i asked her from jump right when i sat under the chair i was just like okay tell me what i'm doing wrong tell me what's wrong she just started laughing she was like you're not doing nothing wrong i just have to redo the one in the back but other than that I like your hair like it's thickening up it's locking up like it's doing what it's supposed to do so I was like I just want to thank God who was the head of my life I want to thank my mama for having me and my daddy for helping create me and giving me this thick head full of hair shout out to y'all because it was you that made this dream come true anyway so I'm pretty excited about that it seems like I don't know if it's just because I'm not washing my hair every week and that's why it's doing right or if my hair is starting to be like okay this girl a little crazy so let's just get information either way I'm cool with that so I have decided that I'm going to wash my hair every two weeks that way I can at least help with the dandruff so I have still been using my miracle loveliness the Jamaican <laughs> Ooh, bless me. Ooh. The Jamaican Mango and Lime No More Itch Grow Spray. Um, every time I wash my hair, I just put it directly on my scalp and it gives you that cooling sensation. It just wants you to praise God for whom my blessings flow. And then I'm also still using my concoction. I love this little bougie bottle. It was only like $3 from Whole Foods, which is, which shocked me. But it's, so like a fourth of it is rose water. And then I put six drops of rosehip oil. I don't know why six, I just put six in there. And then the rest of it is just, um, I just use bottled water, distilled water. Shake that bug up like a Polaroid picture, like Alcat said. And then I spray it directly on my scalp and then I get in the shower, let the steam open up my pores and let it seep down. So that has helped a lot with the dryness as well as just the itching of my head. So doing this every day, um has really helped but i think since i am still going a long time without washing my hair the dandruff is still there it's not as bad but it's still there so my lactician told me to put 
uh, make a baking soda paste. She said just use baking soda and water and just put it like directly on my scalp. Let it sit for a few minutes and then rinse it off and that should help so you know it's going to be a video coming soon, dog. Probably when I go home because then I have my mama there and she can like doctor it up real good. Shout out to moms. Love you, girl. So I'll probably be making a video of that when I go home. But other than that, she didn't have anything bad to say. I also didn't tell her that I was using rose water or the Jamaican um, mango lime stuff. So obviously she can't tell and who am I to tell her <laughs> that I'm using some extra stuff in my hair. Like as long as she don't have a problem or she can't tell, who are we to tell her? I don't tell her myself. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much my update. My hair is coming in, filling in, thickening up really nicely. Like I'm loving the results. I think I'm just trying to practice patience Cause like I'm seeing all of my lock crushes and they hair is like down to here and stuff. And I'm like, one day, boo boo. I've been seeing all my friends and stuff have these like grad season photos. And I was just like in four years, but I graduate with my PhD. And my hair is just flowing in the wind like Pocahontas. Boy, you ain't gonna be able to tell me not a dang thing. You already can't tell me nothing, but boy, when I get, when I go from struggle ponytail to dang, look at that big bun. Just know, mama, we made it. But all right, that's pretty much the update on my hair. Like I said, I'll be going home next week for two weeks. So I'm gonna take my uh, camera home and shoot some videos with my parents, my brothers, and some of my friends. And so you can see a little bit more about my life in 2019. I kind of want to change up a little bit of my YouTube channel. Of course, I'm still going to be showing videos of my hair because duh, who doesn't want to see those? But I just want to think of like different things. I'm also going to be doing more videos on being in my PhD program, being a black female in a PhD program with predominantly white students and faculty. So I'll make it fun though, like cause I'm goofy and I don't have no sense. So y'all gonna laugh because I got some stories for y'all about work, <laughs> my program, just being with friends, moving to a city where it's only like 11%, maybe 9% black people. We can make a whole podcast out of this, which may be in the works. Just hang tight. Um, I'm looking forward to my 2019 because 2018 was unbelievable to me. So yeah, I can't wait to see what y'all have to say about what I have in store for y'all to see in 2019. Heck, I can't wait to see for myself what I got in store for myself for 2019. So as always, man, y'all buckle up, sit back, hold up tight, and just enjoy the ride because I'm doing the same dang thing. Y'all have a blessed week, a happy Monday, and as always, stay moisturized in these streets, which I'm not really following that rule because my lips are really chapped right now so i don't care if you gotta use some cocoa butter some coconut oil some shea butter jesus sweat and tears blood whatever you need for the moisture to get locked in do that because this in the 20s here this is a dry cold so my skin is like girl you black you need some moisture in there so that we can feel good about ourselves so y'all do the same thing as always i'll see y'all next week same time same place, kind of, sort of, but I'll be in another state, but y'all get what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, y'all be good. Peace.